What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this really cool scribble animation in Final Cut Pro 10. And if I push play, this is what we're going to be creating in today's video. And it looks really complicated, but it's actually really easy to do. I want to give a special thanks to Pixel Film Studios for sponsoring today's video. Also, don't forget to check them out on YouTube where they provide their own comprehensive Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials covering a variety of topics. You can visit their YouTube playlist, which I will link down below. I do want to let you guys know that this is an updated video from a video that I did about a year ago. With this new update, you get a whole lot of new features that make this whole editing effect just a lot easier to do. Be sure to use my coupon code KINGPIXELPRO for a nice special discount. And uh, with that being said, what you want to do to access the actual Brush Glow plugin is go into the Titles and Generators over on the left. Then you want to go into Titles and you want to go down to the Final Cut Pro 10 Brush Glow. And you're going to have the title here, or you can also access this by going into the effects, go into the Pixel Film Studios FCPX Brush Glow, and here you will see the newly updated 2.0. So you can click and drag this directly onto your video clip, or you can use the title to just drag this above your video clip. And then you can, of course, trim this down to length so we can trim it down like this. So once you're here, you want to click on the Brush Glow 2.0 title and go into the Inspector tab at the top. And here we'll see your newly updated kind of control or parameters uh, menu here. And it's very, very easy to use. Now the previous version, so we had like draw mode and then you had like frame by frame and then you had like canvas controls. You also had like save canvas, clear canvas, then you had brush controls, but now it's all kind of organized into sections so you guys can easily access different settings. Another cool thing is if you go back to the titles, you may have noticed that the older version also had only five options of choosing a resolution. So you only had like 4K, 5K, 720p, 1080p, and just the regular phone resolutions. So since it was limited on resolutions, now you can use this one single title and use it for any type of resolution, which is really cool. We're gonna go down to the brush controls. So we have editor controls. So I'm gonna skim through this very quickly and just show you what the interface looks like. So we have instructions. If you click this button here, it will bring up a new window showing you the brush instructions and just showing you what each tool does. Over here, we have control mode. You can switch between editor mode and export mode. You wanna be working with editor mode whenever you're gonna be drawing. And when you're ready to export, just change it to export mode. You have editor controls this is where you can actually make your uh, actual effects. You can also clear all data this will remove everything all of your effects we go down we have overall brush color so this will change the overall brush color on all of the strokes that you do here when you're drawing as well as here you can also change the glow controls here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on open editor so i'm going to show you a quick little overview of this little window and what the interface looks like so here we can click and drag to zoom in into our video or drag it to the left to zoom out. We have settings over here on the bottom left. This one will allow you to click and drag. This one acts a little bit different where you can click and drag or select individual anchor points or just points in general. I'll show you that in just a second. And this is where you can actually draw your scribble effect. Over on the right side here you have plus, left, right, and negative. I'll show you those in just a second, but these are just your, your settings to either duplicate frames or remove them. These are your animation controls, your brush controls, glow controls, and your write-on controls, as well as software settings. Here we have reset to reset all of your settings, and this is to export or save all of your work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in into the video, I'm gonna use this little hand icon to pan on the video if you're zoomed in to kind of move where you need to move. And then over here, we'll uh, reset the camera like this. So I'm gonna zoom in again, click back on the brush tool. So if you wanna go to a specific section in your video, you have this little red kind of playhead. If you click and drag, this will allow you to move just like you would in this window here. And you can also use the left and right arrow keys to move in between frames. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back here and start it where his foot is about here and I have the brush tool selected. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kinda click and drag, and please ignore my, my terrible drawing skills for this video. I'm just kind of going off memory of what this would look like, but just to show you an example. So once you're happy with your selection, what we're going to do is we're gonna go into fill, and we're gonna have this box checked. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this glow color here, and I'm gonna change that from white to maybe like a yellow green. So over in the brush controls, we can change the width, we can change the opacity of this, we can change the path roundness, so what this does is your path that you've drawn, right, with your brush tool, this will make it a little bit more round if you wanna focus on more rounded objects. So once we're here, what I wanna do is I'm gonna press right on the arrow key and I wanna draw again. Now you're gonna notice that that box is still, still there. 
And that's actually really helpful so we can actually know where that last frame or kind of scribble or drawing was at. And we can also turn on onion skins. And what this will do is it will show you where that last frame was drawn at and it will show you how many frames. So you can do three, two frames or three frames. So what I'm gonna do is go back to the brush and drag and just kind of do this again. Ignore my terrible drawing skill. So I'm gonna click there and now if I go left on the arrow key, it will look like this. And what I like to do is I wanna kind of go up his leg a little bit. And from this point, I think the fire kind of goes off like this. So now if we kind of play it through a little bit, frame by frame, it's gonna look like that. And I click export data to save that. If you go back in your timeline, you're gonna notice that we don't have any of that scribble effects because you have to change the editor mode to export mode in the control mode. So go and select export mode. Now you can see your really cool scribble effects. I'm gonna push play and it looks just like that. And another cool thing I wanna show you is that kind of pull rope string kind of effect. And I'm gonna show you these controls now. So this one will allow you to select individual points. You can see these points. You can also delete them by pressing delete. I'm gonna undo that, command Z. Or you can select all of these points and delete them. I'm gonna undo that for now. I'm gonna change the color to purple and I'm gonna click and drag once. Click drag again and one more time. And I'm gonna press right on the arrow key. And if you click on this little plus icon, this will duplicate pretty much the last frame that you drew, which is this one here. So if that helps speed up your scribble animations, you can use that. Draw this again. So you can see that this is where we left off. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click and drag all the way here. We can drag there and click and drag over here. So now it looks like this. Press right on the arrow key again and I'm gonna go like that. And I'm gonna actually undo that and make sure that I have fill unchecked because I don't want any fill on this. I just want it to be a straight up line. And then again, right on the arrow key, I'm gonna kind of follow that same path. Draw this one and right on the arrow key again. And then from here, he's gonna pull his, his right leg. So what I wanted to do is kind of like if you're pulling rope and it's like snapping. So what I'm gonna do is right here, I'm gonna begin to kind of follow that same path, but let go right about here. Same thing for this one, same thing for that. So it looks like this again, so you can see where we left off. All we gotta do is go into export data, change this to export mode, and now you're gonna see if I push play, it looks just like that. Isn't that so cool? So this is where I wanna kinda create like a lasso rope that cowboys use, you know? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into open editor. Again, we have to change this to editor mode. And I'm gonna go to open editor, and I'm gonna zoom out here. You can see the video. I'm gonna use a pan tool, and I'm gonna click on a different color. I'm gonna make this one, I don't know. Should we make this yellow? We'll make it yellow. I'm gonna start over here, and I want to kind of Click and drag something like this. We're gonna increase the glow brightness on this one because it's yellow, it's a little harder to see. And I think we're good there. So once we're there, what we're gonna do is press right on the arrow key. Make sure you're drawing kind of slow like this. We're gonna keep going and we wanna keep track of his leg as well, right? And I'm gonna redraw. I'm gonna get closer to his leg as he's starting to pull. We're gonna draw again. Click drag around this point. So it looks something like this. What I wanna do is I wanna click and drag, kinda of go over his leg and stop here and then draw again. So what I wanna do is click, I'm gonna go over his ankle and I'm gonna stop here and then I'm gonna click and drag again over here. So it looks like it's you know wrapping around his leg and I'm gonna do that again. So right on the arrow key and we're gonna click and drag like that, right on the arrow key again. And now we're gonna kind of make it a little bit more dynamic. So it looks something like this and then what we want to do is kind of follow the path of his leg. So I'm going to go again and I turned off the onion skins. I'm going to go back on the brush tool and now I'm going to click and drag, kind of go around his leg again. Go like that. So it looks like this. I'm trying to make this look as realistic as possible. So I'm going to go around his leg and let's go like this. This is where we're going to make that, that line really straight, right? Because now we're like pulling his leg. So we're going to make this as straight as possible while kind of making it round around his leg, like that. And I'm gonna pan up so we can see what we're doing. And I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more, looks like this. And then once we're here, I'm gonna start making the rope a little bit shorter as he's pulling his leg forward. And then right here, he's starting to pull or move his leg forward, his right leg forward. So this is where we're gonna make it so that it looks like we're pulling on the rope as well. Actually, I'm gonna do something like this. So cool, now if we go back and we kind of preview our work, it's going to look like this, right? And of course the first frames, I could have done a better job. But once we're happy with that, we're gonna click export data. We're gonna change this to export mode. It looks like this. 
and now we have that rope which looks like that. So I want to mention another cool thing and that is being able to adjust the actual individual handles of the points. So maybe you want to be a little bit more precise on your selection. All you have to do is make sure you have the brush editor mode. Go to editor controls, click open editor. I'm going to zoom in onto the video using this kind of scroll wheel. I'm going to select this middle tool button here and I'm going to select a point. So these allow you to adjust the position as well as the curvature of the line. So all you have to do is select one, click and drag it inwards. You can drag it outwards. You can be very precise with this and you're going to have two purple circles on either ends. This will allow you to adjust the curvature. So if you click on one of them, this will allow you to adjust the right side curvature just like that. And the left one will do the same thing. So you can do something like that. So just click off of it and then you can just leave it how it is. So another cool thing I want to show you is the ride on controls. What this will do, it will pretty much animate the line over time. So all you have to do is go into the brush tool. And I'm going to make a selection of these stairs. So I'm going to click and drag and just draw a selection of these stairs. Once we're there, we're going to have the animation controls frame duration set to 15. Right on controls, we're going to have this box check. Press right on the arrow key. You're going to see that this line is starting to draw on the screen like that. Of course, this is just a example. I wouldn't actually do this on this video, but if you're using a still video, this would be absolutely perfect. If you want to adjust the actual duration of your line, all you have to do is select these two points. So if you go onto this, you can make it longer. Frame duration, it will change it to 66. If you drag it to the left, it will make it shorter. And you can, of course, also change this under this line here. So you can make it longer or you can make it shorter. And another thing I want to mention is you can have multiple colors on here. So if you have glow color, you can change this to purple. And say you want to have another brush color. Say I want to make a selection of him. Say I want to change this one to blue. So or a scion blue color, you can have that. So you can have blue and purple. When you click on export data, you're also going to have the option of changing the overall brush color. Now you only have one of these per preset, but you can have multiple glow colors on one. If you click on the white box, you can change this color and this will change all of the brush strokes to this specific color. You can change it to blue or you can change it to purple and that will change it. Of course, you can change how bright you want this to be. You can also change the inner blur. Everything here is laid out so that it's easier to navigate and it's just more organized and just quicker to use. So if you found this video helpful at all, please let me know down with a like or a dislike if you didn't like this video, but and comment down what you guys want to watch. So I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace out.